Y'all, today we are making homemade pizza. Now, I don't know how many of y'all watch videos of other people making pizza and then like you never do it because I did that forever. But I'm telling you, we're gonna walk through it. I mean, if I can do it, you can do it. It's so easy and this pizza is so delicious. I'm Claudia with Eat Color with Claudia. Thank you for visiting the channel. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe. Let's make the dough. We want to start off with flour, double zero flour. I love King Arthur. You know, it's simple. You can find it anywhere. 500 grams. And I have a little scale underneath here so I can watch those numbers go up right to 500. If you don't have a scale, you've got to get yourself one. And we want to add one teaspoon of salt. And then you can just stir it up. So over here, I have 11 ounces of warm water and a package of active dry yeast. I like that Red Star brand, but just the main thing is make sure it's not expired. So you wanna look on that date. And just go ahead and then and carefully pour your yeast into the water and give it a gentle little stir. I'm gonna let this yeast sit here for about five minutes. Now, if it doesn't foam or bubble, it's really not that big of a deal. I mean, the main thing is, is that that yeast is in the water and it's getting active. It's swimming around and that's what we want. Pour your yeast into the flour mixture. Now stir this until you can't anymore and just kind of dump Dump it all out. Now, don't be intimidated. You've got to really get in there and work your dough quickly. And try to just, right for right now, you wanna just knead it and try to grab all this extra, all the flour that gets accumulated onto the mat. Okay, now sprinkle some flour some of that zero, zero flour onto your surface, make a little bowl and maybe like hold it and then push and then roll like this. There you go. And then you can just try another direction and you just push down and roll it forward. Push with the palm of your hand, roll it forward. And then every now and then you can just smack the dough down here a couple of times but you'll see all of a sudden like it's not gonna be sticky anymore like already. It's really looking nice. And like again, dose, dose lambs. I think my dough is ready. I'm happy with it. Now roll it into a log. Let's see, we need to go four pieces. One, two, three and four. So now take each one of these and try to get them even. I <laughs> never do, but anyway, so take them and roll them up. Kind of go like this. And then I like to take it and kind of scoop it. I don't know if you can see, but trying to scoop it like this so that the bottom of it seals. I'm gonna do that to each one of these. You'll need a tray and some semolina flour, but if you don't have this flour, I heard you can use breadcrumbs. So, but um, scatter, scatter the flour on your tray and place each one of the balls in, like here. Okay, and then take some more of that flour and sprinkle it on the top. If you don't sprinkle it on the top, the damp rag that we're about to put on can possibly stick. Okay, so now we're gonna cover this with the, with the damp rag. Put this in a warm location in the house. The ideal temperature is gonna be like 80 degrees, give or take, maybe by a sunny window. Um, I've got a Belleville, I'm gonna put it in my proofing oven 
And so that way I know, and it's going to take two hours. These are going to double in size. It's like the yeast. Now it's going to start eating the flour. And, and that's what makes it, I guess all that eating creates air and bubbles. And that's what makes the dough rise. And we're going to put this in there and we're going to pray that it really doubles in size. Okay. <laughs> While the dough is doing this thing, I'm going to show you how to make super easy pizza sauce. Okay. Santa Posada right here in this jar is what you need. I'm telling you in a small little saucepan, just put a teeny bit of olive oil, add um, some, just one clove of chopped garlic in here. Just get a little bit brown. It smells lovely. And then add in some sauce. For pizza, you don't need a whole lot of sauce. I'm just gonna let this come to a little simmer. I'm going to just stir this and cover it up. And this is our pizza sauce. So now to get your pizza crust like perfect, chewy, crispy, you need to prepare the oven to prepare your pan. Okay, so the oven's gonna go on 450 degrees. And now your pan, now I have a, a stone pan that I'm gonna use, but you know what? If you don't have it, that's okay. You can also use a pizza pan. You can use um, a cast iron skillet and you can even use a baking sheet, like put this in like upside down. But preheat the oven with whatever tool you're gonna use in the oven with it because you want these things to be nice and hot too. Y'all, it's best to make sure your rack is like on the bottom position of your oven. It cooks best that way. We're about ready to get the dough. I can smell it. It's heavenly. But first, make sure you get your ingredients. Like, what are you going to put on the pizza? So we're going to do a margarita pizza. So that's just some basil, some mozzarella cheese, and some Parmesan cheese, and of course, the sauce we just made. And now, if you're going to put other stuff on there, just be sure that you don't put like a gazillion ingredients on there, because then it's just going to be too heavy for your pizza crust. Okay, let's take a look at the pizza dough. I hope it's doubled. Ooh, you guys, look, look, look. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of flour on our surface. Oops, hold on. Gotta always cover. Keep these guys covered until you're ready to use them. Um, okay, so now you need like a, a baby dish. Put some of the um, semolina flour on it. Now, take one of these guys out. Now, it's really careful to try to keep him in a circle when you take him out, just because we want our pizza to be in a circle. Keep these guys covered. And now with your fist, pound them in, turn them over. This is a little tricky. But if I could do it, you can do it. What we want to do is we want to kind of do like a, a grasp and a release. Grasp, grasp, release. And we're going to be turning this, this disc in a circle so that we can keep the pizza dough around. And you kind of have to work quickly because if you don't, your pizza dough might take on a funny shape. And you know, I guess it really doesn't matter. And even if you try really hard, like I'm going to, it might still turn out to be a funny shape, but we're gonna try to go for a circle. Okay, well, here we go. You pick it up and now you just go like this, round and round and round and round and just keep on. And you want it to get to be in a circle. Now I'm gonna switch it over onto this. You wanna use your fingers and now you can like reshape this really pretty. And it's nice to just get, you want that little crust on the edge, right? So just kind of do like this. Now we want to add some sauce. We don't need a lot of sauce, so spread it nice and thin all around. Just put a very little bit of olive oil now it's time for Parmesan cheese and just grate it on here. Now you want some soft mozzarella cheese. It's kind of like, it, this is just a little gooey 
and it's really the best kind and just kind of scatter it around. You could just use your fingers to tear it. Now you want to put some fresh basil leaves and just whip them on there. Now just add a teeny bit more oil on the top. Slide your pizza. There it goes. It's gonna cook for seven minutes. Y'all, while the pizza dough is cooking, we still have three more so you can keep on making pizza or you can save this pizza dough for a later date. Just put it in an airtight container. Be sure to coat the inside with a little bit of olive oil all around the edges and under the lid and keep it sealed. It'd be great in your refrigerator for all week or you could put it in the freezer. And so you're like ready to go for next time. Y'all look at our gorgeous pizza. Y'all, this was so fun and easy. I tell you, it may not be an authentic pizza from Naples, Italy, but you know what? This is better than any store-bought pizza that you could possibly get. And it's all homemade. Let's see how crispy it is. And it's just gonna be absolutely delicious. I love thin crust pizza. Mmm, mmm. Mm. Comes out perfect every time. This was fun. If you liked the video, please give me a like. And until next week, y'all, bon appetit!